Hello and welcome to this Murd P video and yes another Omnibus. We are finally getting some Spider-Man love and it's been a long time since I've had a new Spider-Man Omnibus apart from the other week when I had uh, Miles Morales' Omnibus. Um, other than that I'm very grateful for this one. This is one once again we have waited a long time now. We all know why there's been lots of ramifications off on the back of COVID etc. Um, so it is what it is and you know what it's not the end of the world providing these happen so I went with um, I'm trying to think I don't think this is it feels like a direct market cover but yeah I'm not entirely sure if I'm being honest with you it certainly looks like one um, from issue 22 and I'll probably find turn the corner and say oh yeah there it is there it is anyway I went with this because for some reason, that tarantula on sp sp the spectacular Spider-Man always seemed to bug me. I don't know why. It just bugs me. Just bugs me. So, there we go. Just thought I'd tell you that. Um, and I guess I'm super, super excited because I have never read this before. Now, I was going to start reading this on Marvel Unlimited, but I, I decided to... Um, Hold fire when this got announced. So, um, which makes me very, very happy. Um, I am trying to look on the back to see if I can see it, but I cannot see it. But I don't think they've got every cover. So I'm trying to take it off so I can give you a closer look. There we go. There is a closer look. I feel like I'm going mad right now looking at that. Because I can oh there it is, there it is, right there. Finally seen it. So it is a direct market color so to speak, uh, but just not like the other one. Um, usually you get one direct market cover as well as just a normal cover where an artist is given the opportunity to create a cover. So what does this collect? This collects the Spectacular Spider-Man 1 to 42 and Annual 1, the Amazing Spider-Man Annual 13 and the Fantastic Four 218. Now, the great thing about this, if you've, or and I don't have it, I've read it, I've sold it, I've moved on. If you have the um, the Amazing Spider-Man or Spider-Man via Roger Stern, that picks up the Spectacular Spider-Man after that. I can't remember how far it goes. I really can't remember. Anyway, it does. It collects the, the next set of, I feel like it goes up to 50, sank. So, but... Nonetheless, I feel like you could easily just have Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 2. And I hope that happens. There's not been an announcement yet, but I seriously hope that happens. So let's take the dust cover off. Oh, that is classic. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you the side. So there we go. There's Spider-Man. And it has Spectacular Spider-Man there. And the usual Marvel Omnibus there. Underneath there, it has the creators. So Bill Mantillo. And then we've got Sal Busima. I really hope I'm pronouncing these correctly. And we got Jim Mooney's, Jerry Conway, and then Archie Goodwin. And then on this side, you have Spider-Man's not just amazing, he's spectacular, and it's got a little synthesis on there, which is pretty cool. And on the back, we've got the standard Spider-Man like this for for the classic stuff. I feel like that works very, very well. And then on the front, we've just got, wow, look at that, it looks really fresh. The spectacular Spider-Man Omnibus. And then on the side, we have this. And then we have our master, Peter Parker. And that does look very, very nice. So let's open up and we can have a closer look. Okay, so let's have a closer look inside. We've got the classic little look there with volume one. Classic there, and I suspect I'm going to be very happy in a minute. Oh, I love it. I do love when they do this in chronological order. So, uh, Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man started on the 1st of December 1976. And I'm sorry, that's a little bit far for you. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And it ran, so all of this goes all the way up to... 
May 1988, 1980, we said 88, and this has 875 pages. So, which is very, very nice. Oh, and there is, we want some more Spider-Man. So, by Ralph Macchio. It's like an introduction. I do like those sort of things. And then we're straight into it. So, you have the, the cover here on the side. The page is down there. And then it's just issue by issue. And, you know, I'm... That was very, very... No, it wasn't a short issue. It was just the way that I just turned the pages. So, I'm looking forward to reading this and like i said i've never read this before i know you're probably saying why haven't you read this before well i just i don't know why i just didn't um i think i've i was so focused on the amazing spider-man that perhaps it's got away from me it's just it's just so nice that there are these sort of volumes are getting a release as well i'm very very happy and like i said i'm i'm i used to keep Spider-Man Omnibus as well as X-Men, but I, I'm brutally honest, I just don't have the space. So um, I, I can always get away with justifying X-Men. Um, and if I had a lot more space, then I probably would consider Spider-Man. Although I'd probably have to be very careful and wait for re-releases. But there are some volumes that I think I, I would just love to have that as a standalone Omnibus, which would be pretty decent. Your artwork is always is gorgeous. Very, very nice. Hey, the Killer Bee of Swarm. Very nice. Yeah, so it's it just looks like a really nice omnibus. Feels really nice. And like I said, I'm really excited. I know that um, Peter Parker has some real big issues with uh, Dark Ark in this run as well. Black Cat has more of a bigger arc as well with this which is great and you see more of their relationship and that's probably hopefully an argument if they do a volume two which i really do hope that they do i love the fact that they've still dropped in some of the um individual like fantastic four that's quite nice as well there's some back pages have some concept of the issues or oh, perhaps what the covers actually look like would they have been black and white back then oh surely not Maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, there we go. There is your overview. And, oh, and then we get uh, Ralph at the end. Great things coming too. So, yeah, that's good because we've got two of them. There we go. Some Marvel Tales. And an introduction by Frank Miller as well. Just interesting. And then the same cover on the back. And there we go. There is the spe Peter Parker, the spectacular spider-man omnibus very very nice very happy i love the, the format that they've gone with and with multiple omnibuses the formats always change etc but i love with the classic ones they go with this sort of format it feels very um very clean and smart etc i do i do like it so anyway um there is the overview of this omnibus it's a great omnibus i'm very very chuffed to have it i'm really really looking forward to reading it so anyway, I hope you like my review. Uh, if you do, please subscribe to my channel. really appreciate that. Help me grow. Uh, make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. Thank you to those that are already subscribed. I really appreciate you folks because you um, help me be who I am and what I do, etc. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.